Congratulations again. Good job to the people who qualified. Congratulations, Rod. Now I have a special announcement. Is a recent tradition in some of the exhibitions we have a Doug Finals challenger to channel first place. Now come through the door. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not I was here behind the curtain. So Raj, if you were down for it, you can shoot a best of five exhibition, Doug Finals versus the ninth place in the league, you man. I'm down. Okay, go, Ooh. Fine. So Peter, if you're down to commentate one more set. Oh heck yeah, I am. Two more sets. Two more sets. Two more sets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think. Two. Oh come on, <laughs> I mean, I, I'll do it. it Go give me a sec, I'm on my way. Get another set in there. Alright, I'm down for this Thug Finals. Let's go. Thug Finals, dude. Getting the fuck finals with another TNP team kill. Oh, what's up? I'll take him back to Boris. Oh, you're taking it back? Yeah. Oh, okay. You guys leaving right now? Uh, I'll stay for this match. Okay. Okay, you stay for this match of five. Let's look. I'm here. Uh, uh, I'm excited for this. Or, uh, I'm making you go with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go get the controller stuff all the biggie down. <laughs> Yo, wait for him to press the thing so he can be player one, jeez. Mario Nest. I'm sure since these two are on the same team, I'm pretty sure they've played a bunch before. So this will definitely be a game they're both familiar with. See how this goes. Starting at B. Dash back forth, back forth. You meant getting the first opening, getting the lock, down smash, 37%. Solid start. Missed the dash grab, but goes for a big hit out of it with fair. Not a really good whiff punish. Catches the landing. Nair back air, back air. Got him in the corner. What's your option? Move too close to those to flip from the fire. The early air dodge by Siraj is gonna get caught and spiked for it. Really good punish by you, man. Solomon um, wastes his resources out of jump out of air dodge. Sit and duck to get a big hit. Alright, back to their neutral of moving and throwing out their moves as their characters do. Good, like, maneuvering around him. Air dodging through those, so not quite getting hit by the up air. Landing up here by ledge at this percent could lead to spikes, so very good awareness on Siraj's part to kind of be out of it. Floatiness of Ness helping out there too, a little harder to do it to him. Going off stage, but missing his uh, his edge guards. Getting reversal for it, now he's in the corner again. A little early, the cape was a good idea, but because it hit him when the thunder was there, it also reflected the thunder it hit him instead of just reflecting and moving Siraj away. Going deep for him, a little too far out, not gonna be able to take off stage. You men's got two stock lead. Just sitting in shield waiting, Siraj isn't going for a dash grab. Throwing out a ton of moves, gets cloaked by up air though. And that will do a stock at that high of a percent. But with the whole stock lead, not really a big, not really a big issue. Tries to go for some shenanigans, hit him off stage and cape him instantly. 
the Mario combo. Edges him trying to edge guard him, or ledge trap him with the, with the bear on recovery. So I was just throwing out all his moves, but U Man's kind of like looking for his moment to strike. He only got clipped a little bit at the end there. He's totally down to be patient and find his way in. There he's PK fire. Gets caught on shield with an air though. Who <laughs> drifts away from the fair? Doesn't want to waste his air dodge though. Clips the air dodge there though. This is the two frame with dash attack. <laughs> Grab tech, they knew both knew what they wanted. Nope, that back throw might do it. Ness is kinda late. Yep, that'll do it. Two stock game one for you, man. Mario wins. There was a lot of like in a matchup like that, because Mario doesn't exactly have the best range, oh, it's just okay. So Ness's range is a little bit better. Like, I think he played that matchup incredibly well for that game. Because with FD, it's all about catching landings and finding your moment to strike. And you man did it perfectly. There was a bunch of times there where he would just dash out of burst range and let Siraj do his aerials. He wouldn't try to punish everything because he didn't have to. Like, just straight up, he was like, okay, I'm not getting hit. I'll wait for my moment where you just throw out a move where I'm in the position to punish. Until then, I'll just be like letting you throw out stuff and then punish you when I can. I don't gotta do it all the time. That patience and like that awareness and like kind of not letting himself get conditioned or feel like he has to do something paid off really well. Grab up air, up air. Drifting away with air, he knew very well that spike could be coming. And once again, drifting away with air. The man's already got a ton of percent on the board though. Catches the air dodge again. That was a fantastic first stock. Mario's better ground speed. He's just running away from Siraj. He's like, yo, I've got the lead. I'm totally content to let you throw stuff out. Forward forward air up here. Gets the tech. Oh, he missed up his thunder there, but he saved him. Jumps straight up, not in to avoid getting reversal. What a clip on that on that PK fire, by the way. He clips it with a move, so it triggers, but doesn't hit him. And then he keeps it afterwards to leave it out as a threat. <laughs> you man, you you're crazy. <laughs> oh, barely, barely just like a frame or two short on that up smash for the invincibility would have come out and caught that landing and got another stock. You man is running away with this game. And there it is, catches the landing back here. 66.6%, a cursed number. How's he getting up from this ledge trap? Gets up and away, avoids the dash grab. Gets his down air to start. He's trying to say, hey, approach me, I dare you. He's, he's got the full momentum and lead. He's totally content to just retreat and wait to see what Siraj will do. Siraj is going deep for this, a little too deep. It's saved by that up B though. Thunder would have been a little tricky down there, and you man having the stocks he had totally could have gone for like a big suicide play. Just could eat the thunder and be fine. Doesn't get up attack, just gets up into the yo-yo though. That's a stock for Siraj. Got himself a point on the board. But now he's got to find himself in disadvantage, just doing all he can to evade Q-Man's assault. Evading all his moves and getting him for it. Drifting away, no spikes. Reflecting the PK fire into him. Misses the cape on his PK Thunder recovery though. Catches the air dodge, down tilt back air. Ness doesn't have his jump, he's gotta get the thunder. Misses his cape! Parry, the down throw. Trying to go for a big off stage play, but didn't want to commit to anything. He's really possessing a lot of like threatening range off stage, but he's not actually like doing anything because he's in the wrong spot for it. Catches his aggressive down air with a trade that will kill Siraj at that high of a percent. Being too good into you, man. Not quite as. It was a lot more dominant looking at the beginning, and then he lost a bit of it near the end in terms of just how quickly he was running over, but like. He had control that whole game. You cannot deny that, like, you man just held, like, I'm winning. 
Like, I'm going to declare it now just I'm winning, and then played like he was knowing he was going to win for that entire game. Is he going to go for his Ganon? He does play a comfort pick Ganon that Siraj does have issues with. Like, they've played before, and the Ganon doesn't do awfully. So, you know, your man wants to send a message. By all means, he's going to do it. DK Fire Fair. Didn't go for the immediate next pair, though. Ganon heavy. Knew he wouldn't get it. Almost on the fire, though. 64% and has him at ledge. So I was just playing a lot more evasive. He's like running back because he's like, hey, you're Ganon. You can't catch me. Unless you man does like a big burst option, he won't work. Survives the flash. So I was just looking at a zero to death to start this match. Nope, never mind. Got down air. Commentator's curse. Dash attack out of that. I don't know if I like that. I feel like he could have conditioned he had the conditioning on the shield after it. It was an easy throw. Up throw misses his back air. Or up air misses his back air. Big shield damage. Nope. Just bear that a range of dash attack. Back here's the fire again. You men's really good at playing around PK fire. Death attacks through the yo-yo. Catches the dash attack with the fair. And just holds Magnet, keeping him in shield. Because you know, like, hey, you probably don't have an option quick enough. I think the reverse up B could have done it. But it might not have, because it's a little chunky. A little slow. So Raj is like, yo, I do not appreciate the message you're trying to send. And he's playing this game around the Ganon matchup very well. Gets the back the roll behind back throw. Barely misses the yo-yo, but punishes the get-up attack from the arrow shield, which fights the reversal spike. Catches the roll behind. Doesn't really punish the high recovery well enough. He was on off stage trying to get the low recovery, so he wasn't in the proper position to. Roll behind back throw's not gonna work when he's that prepared for it. Catches the dash attack, back throw, 137. Catches the reversal up here, and this is a little too big. This joint gonna help him out. Full stock beat him, Siraj. Reversal up air to avoid the down air he was going for, not air dodging to get hit by any extensions. Good aggressive, aggressive option there with that fair. He saw that U Man was going for these patient Mario like short hop back airs. They weren't gonna work there. Ooh, he had the tech, but that wasn't a position where he could do thunder again. That was a position to wait a bit to thunder or to air dodge up. That might be very bad for him, because it's Ganon, and, and you man's crazy, he can totally pull something off. Or he can get clipped by several PK fires and be up to 100. Get out of shoot there, knock him off stage, PK fire. But be careful going off stage against him. Because if you get stuck in PK thunder, you man is totally capable of just running off stage after him. Call you the roll and out with an F smash. Try and do it again, but good awareness of, hey, you're going to shield. You're not going to spot dodge, you're not going to jump away, you're going to shield after it. Good back throw. That's the landing with there that time, and that takes the stock. Getting a game on the board for Siraj. Mario may be going crazy, but you're not going to insult me with a Ganon like that that easy. Still, though, that was way too close for comfort for Siraj, I'd say. The fact that that went to last stock and him at like like 60%. And having that SD, like, you gotta watch yourself, but You can't be care- you gotta be careful. Yep, seeing the switch back to Mario. He's like, oh, no, no, we're not. I didn't know if he was thinking, yeah, I'm done with that. No, you man's like, okay. You lost the game one, Ganon. Now it's time for the adapted Ganon. Let's see how well this goes. The counterpick stage and everything, too. No hits yet. Oh, catches him in shield. Doesn't get the nair after though. Misses the back air on the tech. Just staying back and checking out BK Fires, trying to not disencourage you from coming in. This is the two frame. Good awareness that time, said, hey, you're magnet, guess what? I do have an option that works! And that's an option that works against Pair! You wanna see outrage and here's a big sword! Catches the air dodge, but he's not getting these air follow-ups off the down throw. Down air up air though, that's the thing that'll work. Oop, 
calls the aggressor the aggression of him running in, just bats him away, and then calls the aggression back with a down tilt. They're both very good at catching each other's like, hey, you're choosing to strike now, sweet, just go back. They're very good at that with each other. That shows like that familiarity. Like right there, he had the wherewithal to be like, he's probably gonna do get up attack after the side beat, so I'm getting the right position. He was only just barely off on that F tilt. Barely off on that on that ton here after the air dodge too. Oh, gets clipped by the up smash. Living though! Getting the big boy! Sit in shields, Raj didn't want to do any big grabs. You man, like that shows you man's like comfort in the player matchup as opposed to the character matchup. Because if you didn't know better and you were playing against a Ness, you would think I'm crazy to hold shield at 160. It's Ness. But you man is totally comfortable holding shield against him. Because he's like, yo, I know how Siraj is playing. He's not gonna go for a grab. DK flash. Going all the way low because he has to. He doesn't want to get hit by it. Getting the grab that time in the de run up shield war. Your man hasn't really gotten a big play on this stock yet. He's got to get a hit though. Any hit will probably take it. But bad time to pick your hit there. Getting up tilted for it. Waits to get up attack after the yo yo. That's a little weird. He could have just done it at any point. Catches him holding shield that time. Straj making the adaptation, but misses the two frame there. I wonder if Straj is catching on to these get up attacks. Gets him with the trail, gets him with the yo yo after, forcing him to have to recover high from that angle. Straj has got himself a lead. Not as big a lead as he had last time, but still a lead. So Kachi rolling in, but didn't believe in it, so he just ran up shielded. Catches him going in there, though, with the back air. 37% on him in the last stock isn't huge. Catches the air dodge and flash into up air, nice. And this is Thunder, he's catching all these disadvantage options. Again, it's disadvantage A3. Fair, oh, is that down air hit? And up smash, he just wants a big hit. Two man wants to send a message. Forward throw, great base knockback, terrible knockback growth, ain't gonna send you anywhere. Catches the normal getup. You men did a lot of getup attacks. That was the one time he should have. Did a bunch of them. Some of them paid off, some didn't. That was another time to do another one. Yep, Siraj is not having this Ganon mess. Also, I just noticed, are they picking Battlefield of Battlefield? He really believes in his again, and if he can make the adaptations a little bit, like he's picking a couple bad options when he can, but otherwise he's only really losing because again and weaknesses. If he can continue to make really good choices like he is, it's working out for him. And right now we're seeing that. He's got Siraj in the corner. He's not getting hit. Just barely misses catching him with the down smash. Misses the tech and he had already double jumped. Oof, oof, oof. He was real greedy going for that edge guard. He he paid the price. This Ganon's not playing as clean in the parts that really matters as Mario was, where he was getting really consistent two frames and really good plays with Mario. His Ganon is missing like really proper two frames and chances where he could get kills. It's like right there, it misses the two frame. When Siraj has to recover at that angle, I want to see him run off down smash him. He totally can. Or not down smash, down air him. Good parry, because there was a lot of shield damage after that F smash. That was risky. Siraj is willing to play kind of the camping game. He knows he has to. Good get up attack, knock him off stage, counting with the up air, and then good catch of him just drifting back with the down beat. Alright, so I was trying to camp back again, but at this close of a range, even Ganon can punish grounded PK fire. Oh, he was in too close! This is it again! We're at a point where you men's got the lead, and that is scary. Lands the, lands the down thrown air that time, catches the landing with up air. Gets another up air, so I already jumped! And he already air dodged into that! He was out of resources! Oh, got a bear. Oh, yeah. There you go.
You meant showing off why he was in the... Why he went as far as he did. He's like, yo, my Mario can do it. Did you know my Ganon can do it?